They survived a harrowing ordeal in Vietnam, and now 12 American soldiers are together again, some for the first time since the war. News 8's Keely Arthur joins us now with their story. Brittany, retired Marines from places like Illinois, Wisconsin, and as far as California traveled to on Alaska today. The purpose to reunite with those they served with during the Vietnam War and to use the opportunity to get closure by talking with each other about their experiences in a way they say they couldn't have done with anyone else. We're a, a band of brothers. This band of brothers first came together serving in the combined action program stationed near Hoi An, Vietnam. Their job was to answer the threat of trouble inside of a village. Their dangerous work required them to learn Vietnamese, befriend villages, and then train natives how to fight the enemy. We were always a target, so we were in combat usually every night somewhere. An estimated 50% of men in the combined action program were injured or killed, and that number has stuck with Lieutenant Colonel Lester H. Williams. I think all of us wonder sometimes, uh, why me? Why, why are we here standing before you today instead of some of the men that we loved and our brothers in combat. He and the rest of the Marines used Saturday's reunion to get closure over what they went through overseas. We saw things and did pe things that people should never have to do. It requires some thought processes and come into grips with just what happened. But with the support of each other. They know what I've gone through, I know what they've gone through. They were able to remember the good times too, sharing a laugh, <laughs> remembering their youth. I think this is me here without the shirt on. And share in the joy of being able to create new memories all right with their band of brothers 44 years later it's just a like a big big happy family <laughs> and uh, and it just seems like we're just picking up from where we left off this is this division of the Combined Action Program's fifth reunion. Each reunion is organized by a Trempolo County woman whose husband served in the group. She says each year they are able to reconnect with more and more vets, and she's excited to see even more new faces next year. Thank you so much, Keely. If you'd like information on how to get in touch with the organizers of the reunion, go to news8000.com.